to do y'all this is your boy King Eric the Great coming at y'all with another video and I want to take y'all back to 20 years ago when Master P was contacted by WCW to make an appearance to boost ratings Matt I want to talk about how Master P finessed Eric Bischoff on this video here because what people don't know is that they originally wanted New Jack to be a part of this but they couldn't get New Jack because we know that's New Jack. But the reason why WCW wanted to get Master P is because the WWF was just kicking their butt. In terms of mass appeal, in terms of coolness, in terms of characters. WCW was basically looking stale at that point in 1999. And the WWF was looking hip. So, Bischoff contacted Master P because they needed they needed somebody that has popular stature within the rap game and they agreed to pay Master P like $200,000 an episode and in the long run it was good money for P he basically got a million dollars and not really do anything for a month it didn't elevate the ratings ratings was lower and they basically used it as a platform to promote that true The Crime Family album. But when they got on WCW, they didn't connect with the, with the audience at all. And I'm saying this as a diehard No Limit fan. WCW had that Southern Hick audience. And they were going at it with Kurt Henning and his crew. They were a bunch of cowboys and they hated rap. And they hated, had a song going on like I Hate Rap. So they had the Hillbillies versus the No Limit Soldiers. And sadly but surely, that didn't translate into any ratings at all because they were actually booed during that Hootie Who performance. Then they did an episode where Master P hit Kurt Henning, rest in peace, with a cape. I mean, this is the type of stuff that WCW was doing, but then you turn on to the WWF, you see Red Hot Fuse from The Rocket Triple H, Stone Cold and The Undertaker, you see Mick Foley. WWF was too much of a strong beast at that time. And No Limit, they was on the decline themselves. They didn't even help with the, with the sagging ratings that WCW was bringing to the table. So, in the long run, P made money. It elevated him. And Bischoff, you can look at this picture that I posted right here. He had that, man, this nigga got me face. It was the most forced smile I ever seen. So, let me know what y'all think about this here. This is King Eric signing out. Holler back at your boy. Y'all know what to do. Subscribe to the network. Hit the like button. Holler.